well you join me right now I'm in Brook Road in Trowbridge I live just down the road not far along there but I've decided to show you the benefits of exploring what is local what is right on your doorstep so I'm going to take a look now at something you might find interesting and discoverable right where you live by just looking around now here you might think well what's these old gates and pathway here and the iron railing going on to the distance so let's tell you a little bit about what all this is about when this development came along in the 70s 80s mainly the farmer that sold the land I believe stipulated that there must be green spaces far more green spaces than you get on any development today and so you get spaces like this we'll look back towards the main road so this was technically I believe the track to the farm and the old farmhouse is now a public house that's been for some years but as you go around you can just find the find the the beauty in your local area and what's on your doorstep and I've only walked about a minute from my house so let's make our way along the path and see what things we can discover on this little walk just really to show you that if you get out and about in your local area right on your doorstep you can find some interesting things it's just nice to have some wildlife areas as well as you go around and uh, what the local authority is doing at the moment is leaving some areas uncut and mowed to allow grass to seed and provide habitat for insects and here it's good to examine the thistles what I like along here is the way the trees create a, a little mini woodland and it really doesn't take many trees to do that Now the path to the old farmhouse would have gone straight ahead of us. We'll stay to the left. I will show you what the old pub looks like in a moment. We'll insert that into the video for you. So it's not a huge amount of trees and yet we have created here a little mini woodland I think what's interesting about this is we're completely surrounded by hundreds of houses and yet you could be in the middle of nowhere almost unless you peer through the trees to look for the houses which you can start to see appearing 
right now. One other little feature we've got is a pond here, so we're going to take a look at that for you. So this is Broadmead Pond. And there was a jetty along here, which has sadly rotted, you can still see the posts, but it is going to be replaced at some time. So the water level is quite low at the moment. water level would often come. Oh look what we've got there. Ah, I've decided to see me and now scurried off. That was interesting. Wildlife right on our doorstep. It's worth coming just for that. So just walk a little bit further and show you one other leftover feature I found from when this was farmland. Well, a few more than one feature, one uh, man-made feature in particular. Let's go and have a look. Now the first feature would be this line of trees. That would have been a field edge because there is a ditch in there which would have been drainage for the fields. So I'm just going to take a look at that and then there's one other feature in the distance which I'll walk around to to show you. So these are things you can discover when you're out walking. Now it wasn't really until we had the lockdown with Covid we're allowed to go out for a daily exercise that uh, I walked around this place a lot. And as a result of that, you start looking for things to look different that you've seen that you've seen before. So here we go. This is the, what would have been the field line and the ditch. In fact, there's some water in it right now. As we can see down there. In the winter time, all this growth will die back and it'll be more visible. Let's go around this way. Find the other feature I just want to look at. This field line does carry on across the main road after a while. Some of it's been uh, destroyed for housing, but there's a little bit left further down. And again, how many people take notice of this concrete lump here? We're going to have a look at it. There we go. The remnants of the farm. One gatepost, solitary gatepost, still left with the hangers on it. Yeah, amazing, it's still here. The field line disappeared under these houses more or less, but as we cross the road over there, we'll pick it up again and uh, see where it ran. So I'll get us across the road, then we'll take a look. And here we go, from this corner of the hedging here, leading straight down, we kind of pick up the ditch again. It's obviously filled in, trees removed ended what was a field and boundary. Well, it's windy today. Hope it's not kicking up too much on the microphone for you. So the ditch has been straddled by this footpath. We'll take a look at the bottom 
in a moment. So the water from the ditch will drain off into the Lambrock, which we'll take a look at behind those bars over there, and that flows into the River Bis to my left. Let's just go and take a look at the water level. Probably quite low um, earlier in the year. This was flooded. So it looked more like the River Thames than a small stream. So, everybody likes to look in a stream, don't they? There's a little drop more water in it at the moment than there was the other day because it has couple of heavy rain sessions we've had. And this is where the ditch comes in. It's culverted now of course. Through the culvert down here. And that's the tree line the edge of the original field going that direction. So there's always lots to look for when you're out on a walk. It may be a very familiar area to you and yet perhaps you haven't always seen everything that there is to see. So drop me a comment in the box and let me know things that you've discovered on walks, on places you've been to that perhaps even very familiar to you and by looking perhaps in a different way You've discovered stories about them, found out information that's interesting. Let me know what you've found. It'd be great to hear from you. And if you're not a subscriber, do click the subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up. It certainly helps the channel, encourages me to make more videos, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Oh, and do check out any you've missed as well. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.